I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing you with solutions of some very interesting questions. Now we have picked up a question paper, Level 3, GCE, Advanced Level Mathematics. This is equivalent to AP Maths in United States and high school in many other countries. This is especially for students who are seeking admission to very reputed universities. So we'll have very tough questions in this test paper to solve. I'll begin with the very first question in this video. Some important things are that we need to work out all our solutions to three significant figures, if not mentioned, right? So everywhere, whenever you finally write down your answer, you have to write your answer to three significant figures. That's a key. All the solutions should be provided in the space in black ink, right? So that's kind of very important. How? When I'm making a video for you, I will use different things to illustrate. But you need to uh, solve in black ink. Here is the very first question. The question is, given that theta is small and is measured in radians, Use the small angle approximation to find an approximate value of 1 minus cos 4 theta over 2 theta sine 3 theta, 3 marks. Now, to give you an idea, what we should do here is to look into the series of cos theta, right? So, let me write down that cos x in general can be written as 1 minus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial minus x to the power of 6 over 6 factorial and so on, right? Now, as the condition is given to us, theta is very small. Now, since we are saying theta is small and it is measured in radians, right? So now, when it is small, that means the quantities which are like these quantities will be very, very small. Correct? So they can be neglected. And as an approximation, we could always write cos x as equal to 1 minus x square by 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So, x squared by 2. Is that clear to you? Right? Now, sin x, for example, now can be written as, the series, as you know, is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 over 5 factorial minus x to the power of 7 over 7 factorial plus so on. And this can also be approximated since those terms are very, very small, right? Whenever you do cube or small quantity cube, it will be very small. Then sine x can be written as just x. Is that clear to you? So that is what we should look into before answering this question. So I hope this concept is clear. Now when you know this, you can actually solve the question. 1 minus cos 4 theta. So that is to say that the term cos 4 theta, cos 4 theta, x being 4 theta, right? So in this formula, we can write this as 1 minus 4 theta whole square divided by 2. Is that clear? Correct. So that is what it means, right? So when we have, let me write down here so that you understand that if I am writing cos of 4 theta and basically replacing x with 4 theta right so therefore this term will be 1 minus 4 theta whole square divided by 2 is that clear to you so that becomes the numerator now when it is sine of 3 theta x becomes 3 theta right so so sine of 3 theta since x is 3 theta will be approximately equal to 3 theta. 
So we need to replace these values in the given expression and then simplify. Is that clear? Right. So let's do that. So we can now write down the expression as we can write 1 minus cos 4 theta divided by 2 theta sine 3 theta as equal to 1 minus. So instead of cos 4 theta, we are going to write 1 minus 4 theta whole square divided by 2, right? And the denominator, we have 2 theta times sine theta will be written as, uh, it is sine 3 theta. Sine 3 theta will be written as 3 theta. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now let's try to simplify. So we have 1 minus within brackets 1. And when you open this, 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Okay, so, so let's open this bracket. So we have 1 minus 1. And when you open, that becomes plus. So we get plus. 4 squared is 16. So we get 16 theta squared divided by 2 over... 2 times 3 is 6 theta squared. Clear? Now 1 minus 1 is 0. So I could write this as 16 theta squared by 2. So we'll write this as equal to 16 theta squared by 2 times 1 over 6 theta squared. Clear? So now theta squared, theta squared cancel and you can simplify this. Correct. So you could simplify, you could divide this by 8, so you get 8 over 6. Let me rewrite this and then we'll simplify further. And then dividing both by 2, we get 4 over 3. So this expression is basically equal to approximately 4 over 3. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So you should know how to approximate the trigonometric function cosine and sine. Cos x is 1 minus x squared by 2 sine x is x when x in radians is very, very small. And once you substitute those values, in that, after that, it's just a matter of simplification. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.